Yo guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to find winning products for your Google dropshipping store. We do it step by step. So at the end of the video, you will understand 100% how to do the best product research. For the ones who don't know me, my name is Wesley, 28 years old. Uh, so far I've done like 9 million in revenue with Google dropshipping in the past 12 months. So our strategies we are sharing on this YouTube channel. So uh, yeah, here we will talk over product research. So in this video, I will walk you through my method step by step for finding winning Google dropshipping products, whether you are just starting or scaling to 1 million months, this process is key to getting traction with your store or scale to next levels. So why product research is crucial. So most dropshipping stores don't fail because their store layout is ugly, but because the products they are running are not working. So that's something we see very often is, okay, this ugly store is doing quite some numbers. How does that come? It's not because they are like making the most beautiful website or um, that, that their marketing is outrageously good. It's very simple. They are having the right products. So a ugly website with good products versus a good website with bad products. Yeah, you know the answer already. So if you don't have the right products, you will waste a lot of time. You will lose a lot of money on ads and you will never see any results. So you will lose faith, uh, whether you are starting, of course, you will lose, fa lose faith, you will lose budget, or you will be stuck at a certain level while you can't finger point where the issue is. So let's dive into it, of course, how to do the proper research. So before we dive into it, watch closely, take notes. So put away your phone, grab pen and paper and lock in for the coming 10 to 15 minutes. This will be worth it. If you can't commit yourself like 10, 15 minutes to this video while you are doing Google dropshipping, you are not worth of getting any success. It's that simple. You need to lock in, of course, whenever you want to get the results. All right. So the first point, um, whenever we found like our niche, so let's say we are in fashion, we want to find all the product types and subcategories. So in every niche, we have multiple categories and multiple product types. So we want to have a clear overview so we can use them as keywords to find competitors and products. So um, for example, here I typed what type of clothing is there? We will see jeans, dresses, activewear, skirts, bottoms, etc. We can of course dive deeper into that. I will also show you that in the coming time. So whenever you are going into a niche, you always want to make sure that you have like all the product types clearly. You can grab that as well from competitors. For example, uh, you can look on Google, you can ask ChatGPT, you name it. There are multiple ways to do it. And in that way, you have like a clear picture. Okay, I'm selling these product types. And then we dive in a bit deeper. So whenever we have like a clear view of, okay, these are all the categories and these are all the product types. What we want to do is to see, okay, what has a lot of search volume? So we can see which types of products are like more interesting and which ones are not. So for example, if we look here, um, this is by the way, in UK, looking for shoes in this example, and we see, okay, Boots has like 5 million in search volume, which is a lot. We have like men's trainers, also really interesting. So I would say whenever a product type has like above like 20K, 30K in monthly search volume, it becomes interesting to list. So here we have like a picture already of a few product types which are interesting just in the shoe niche. So those ones, of course, we can list. So the step afterwards is really important because if we go back, we see here, for example, okay, boots. So the first thing our mind think is, whoa, 5 million of monthly searches. We need to sell these products. But at this point, we are in May. And what we will see, for example, here um, is a few different product types. So also, I checked it with Google Trends. So with Google Trends, what we can see, basically, it says it already. We can see the trend. So is it in an uptrend or is it in a downtrend? So if we look here, for example, boots in this, um, this example, you will see that the spike, I, I've pointed it with my mouse. You see the spike is, of course, in the winter. So if we start to list boots now, it's not going to work properly because nobody's going to buy them. So we see like the boots niche, to call it that, is like laying on his ass currently and is going up at the end of the year. So then it becomes interesting. So how does a graph look like whenever you have like all season product type 
it looks like more steady. So for example, trainers, sneakers, those type of products. And whenever it's in an uptrend, we are talking in this case about sandals, you will see how it goes here. So what we always want to do when we are looking for products, we are wanting to look like five to six weeks ahead. In this way, we are listing the products on our store five, six weeks ahead. So when we see, okay, the uptrend is coming or the uptrend is staying for a few months, in that way, of course, we can already list and then the product is starting to warm up, the uptrend is kicking in, and of course, then it's go time. So to search for actual competitors, so basically what we've done now is we find out, okay, what product types are interesting in my niche? We already know like, okay, the search volume of the product types um, that we found. So we see, okay, maybe in, in fashion dresses is way more interesting to list a few hundred products. And maybe with, uh, for example, uh, trainers just mentioning something, we want to list only a few because the search volume is a bit lower. So when we are going to search, we always want to use a VPN. So why do we use a VPN? It's very simple. We want to look in different markets and we do it by the Google shopping section. So if now I'm in Portugal, I'm checking from here, I will always see the shopping ads from Portugal. So in this example, I went to uh, UK. So um, I used a VPN to check. So I start searching the product types that came out having a nice search volume. So in dresses as well, under dresses, of course, you have a lot of different product types. So we have evening dresses, cocktail dresses, you name it, uh, the list goes on and on. So the more specific you have, of course, um, in the keywords, the more you can find, the more stores you can find eventually. So I searched here for evening dresses. So what you're trying to look here for is for drop shipping stores. So what I always recommend is start clicking on like a lot more stores. So you open them all and then we will see, okay, what is like really a drop shipping store? And the little side note, use native language, uh, language and use the product types that you found. So basically I opened a lot of stores and I saw this store popping up for the ones knowing dropship. This looks uh, pretty much like it. So um, we saw it already, but to validate after you selected like all the stores, what I simply always do is email in search. Now at this time, I know of course, which product types and, uh, or which products are drop shipping and I can filter way more easily. Whenever you are starting or not 100% sure, you can click with your right mouse, search with Google Lens, check for AliExpress or Temu, and you will see here on the right, exactly the same picture. So we know already it's drop shipping. If you want to validate it properly, check more links. So basically you will check like out their best sellers, for example, which we'll come to in a bit. And then you can also validate more products and then you are 100% sure. So the step afterwards is validating the store. So the tool we are using here is similar web. So with similar web, you can see countless of things uh, from a store. So basically uh, what we use this for mainly is to see what are the monthly visitors of the store. So whenever a store has like a lot of monthly visitors, of course they are running a lot of volume. So here with this example, that's a store I saw here above. We have around 200K in monthly search volume. So we want to look for stores that have like 50K plus per month. So this store already is a really good one to grab some products from. So this is what we use this tool for. Make sure to always validate the store because if we are grabbing products from a store that is not running any numbers, you know what will happen. So after we found the store, we validated it. What we will do is type the website name with this prompt behind it. And this way we will sort for all the best selling products. So what we will do is exactly like this. We have the URL slash collection slash all sort by best selling. And then we get this page. So basically what we see here is a lot of products. So here we are going to check, of course, the things we just checked. Okay. Is the product type interesting for us to list since we wanted to have like a lot of search volume? Is it in an uptrend? For example, sweaters will be in a downtrend. We don't want to list that, of course. And the store is already validated. Then we have some nice products, which we can have. Maybe the shoes, maybe this dress down here, etc. So we validated the store. We know it's drop shipping. We selected on the best sellers. And now we want to scrape all the products. So we have a whole list of winners. Basically, we have the whole store, of course. But we want to filter only on the winning products. 
So you want to check maximum the first four pages of the stores and only list what is an uptrend right now, as I just mentioned. So as I mentioned as well, sweater that we saw here, it's a really good bestseller. Maybe people will wear it in the evening, for example, but the volume will be less and probably the competition will stay around the same. So in this way, it's not interesting to start selling that product. So the sweater we will definitely not do. But for example, if we see, okay, the sneaker is like an all season product, we'll definitely list that. Uh, also with this running shoes, probably with this dress, 100% in an uptrend. So we want to list that. So in that way, we are no, we know we are listing the right products. So um, this is basically how you do product research in a nutshell. This is exactly how we are doing it as well. It's that easy. Um, I can talk about it for hours, but that doesn't make sense because this strategy is very easy, very effective, and 100% something I would recommend you to use whenever you are in Google dropshipping. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to implement this. If you have any questions left, place them in the comments and see you in the next video. Ciao guys.